In this episode of a mobile home makeover, we go topless, I make a seam, Brooke cleans some cabinets, and uh, I redo that, the support of that patch in the subfloor. All right, um, let's try this again. Okay, ready? There's a nice meadow combo, these. These, these, these. And I picked up the hay that was in the field. We're just cleaning out the cabinets this morning. Yeah, yeah one little area here where I'm probably got wet from like the you know, this is a corner of a room. It's not likely to see much load, but I kind of feel like we need something here to support this and here. Well, I don't see any screws poking through the, through the wall, so that's a good, uh, good sign. What I'm going to do is move this one here over that way. And then this one I'm just going to put in a cross piece that gets just bolted to the underside of this underlayment. Marking where the studs are so that when I go to screw in my pieces, I'll know where to screw to. So here I've got my sheet of plywood. Now I'm going to mark out the size I want to cut out. So that's marked out. The next job is to cut it. I think the solution to the fiberglass issue is going to be taking a knife, scoring down here, pulling it up. That may have helped. Next uh, is the moment of truth. Does this fit? The answer is almost. With a whack of a hammer, that's gonna fit. Now I think it's ready to screw it in. Well, that's patch number one. And to seal up around here, I'm going to use some of this patching, patching mix. I'm wondering if I'm going to fire that up. And I still have patching to do on, possibly on this floor. And then definitely in the other bed bathroom. But I'm wondering if I want to uh, do some of this repair. I was reading directions about how to do this. And they recommended cutting out a section and then getting another section of this paneling and then installing it uh, with some strips behind to hold it in place. All that seems kind of elaborate. The way my dad taught me to do drywall was stuff newspaper in there and then spackle over the top of it. Uh, I don't have any newspaper either, so I think I'm going to do a hybrid of these two techniques. Yesterday we saw some kids playing basketball, skins versus shirts. I guess uh, that, that inspired my brother. <laughs> one thought I've had was to take one of these floor samples <coughs> and uh, get it up there behind or cut it out and replace with the floor sample the same as you do the wood paneling. Another thought was to use this uh, drywall repair tape Starting just by cutting away anywhere that seems like it's splintering. So I'm going to do a hybrid of my dad's technique plus the uh, modern, uh, plus the modern 
tape technique. Getting a wet rag and water ready to wipe away any accidents. Three sizes of putty knife out. Uh, I might think I'm going to use this one for this guy, but over there I'm probably going to use this fat guy, so, you know. The directions here were simply mixed to a paste-like consistency, so I'm just going to start with a little bit of water at first and start mixing. I probably put too much in here for my first batch. And it seems like I put in a drink of water too. I'd say that's pretty good. I massively overdid this. Well, it looks like mostly we're going with the tape, with the uh, cloth, whatever this is, cloth tape. Well, I can't say that my patch is particularly elegant, but it is there, and so that's a start. And uh, with a little sanding, hopefully it'll look smoother. So on to the next hole. It's number two, you're ready to dry and get sanded, and if I need another layer, I will. Ready? What did you wind up doing? Oh, I ran a... Uh, I moved one over to the edge, and then I put a second little support right under here. So now I'm going to use the rest of this patching mix to just fill in this. Well, that's well. I got a batch mixed up. I'm gonna need to mix up another batch and hit this again before I I'm done. I'll probably sand it, then mix up another batch and hit it again. I learned uh, that this stuff dries pretty quickly, so it's best to make small batches. Starting on the center seam, keeping my tools wet and uh, working pretty wet in this process. I just got this one little bit of uh, the center scene to do, then back in the primary bedroom. Well, in my first pass with Fix It All, I might not have fixed it all, but certainly fixed some of it. Guess I gotta start. Still to do. I'm down there too. But a lot of it's done. Brick is rocking the TSP throughout the cabinets. Using some of this glue, PC fix, PC rock terminator to uh, reattach this guy right here. Uh, where'd the piece of wood that this was attached to go, bro? Where'd the piece of wood that this was attached to go? I yeah. Maybe it fell down on the back. Oh, shit. The case of the missing wood is unsolved, but I'm gonna move on to doing this guy right here. So, kind of trying to keep it all together while the glue sets. And we're back for more kill zing. Before, making progress, kills a big chunk of the kitchen. And up in these cabinet roots. And over there in the cat box area. In this bedroom, all kills. Well, it's time to take a dip in the creek. I have a feeling it's gonna be quick. It's gonna be cold. So. Yeah. Emmy, you want a reason to go in? She wants a reason to go across the creek. 
This is Emmy's like 20th trip into the creek right so far. Emmy, come here. Come here. How's the water? Are you gonna go under? Yeah, sure. Um, I'm just planning on dipping in. Yeah. I'm gonna, gonna lower the pressure on myself by not, uh... Yeah, sorry, Emmy. Emmy, what'd you think? Brooke, what do you think? I thought it was really good. I thought it was nice too. Tune in next time for a dump run, sanding, electrical outlets, and door measuring. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.